I've told the story each show. So my dad, he was walking with his, his father in like 1983 in New York City, because that's where he's from. And my grandpa didn't have a ton of money, but he, he was really happy his son was visiting. And he said, go in the store and buy yourself like something really nice. I, want, I really want to treat you. So my dad got this leather jacket from Banana Republic, and it probably cost like $300, which was really expensive at the time, still is. And, um, and it's just like a keepsake for my daddy, and he's worn it ever since. And then a couple years ago, I stole it from him. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Good kid. You turned out good. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four. A hundreds of stories before I showed up. They tell them to me and pull photos up. They're all connected like a pair of handcuffs. No one seemed affected that everyone had fucked. But there was a softness, some kind of understanding. 2 a.m. decisions, always shaking letters And no one ever knew what could be demanded Maybe it's the cards, the cards that she was handed You call me up from a payphone I said, hang tight, I can drive you home I pull on up and hit the southern accent I offered you my dad's name I met her at a party, she come straight from work Complained that the regulars were all a bunch of jerks She always looked tired, but she dazzled as a drunk She even pulled off that stupid haircut She said, I don't need a sponsor or the best lover or some man that sees me as some fixer upper. The last few years I've been running for cover, trying to sleep so I can visit my mother. You call me up from a payphone. I said, Hang tight, I can drive you home. I pulled on up and with the southern accent, I offered you my dad. Takers, you keep attracting. In September, when it goes off like some goddamn alarm clock, and it hits her like your third shot. Conversations, she just stares up. There's no longer a voice calling. She goes out saying, I'll be up waiting for you. You call me up from a payphone. I said, Hey, try, I can drive you home. I pulled on up and with the southern accent, I offered you my dad's leather jacket. Thank you. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs>